it is Saturday morning. It is early, but it is still a park run day. And this is the second video of us trying to incorporate our marathon training into park run. Today we have an 18 kilometer long run to do, which we are incorporating park run in the final third. So the plan today is three 6K mini runs, I guess, at three different paces. So we are just starting out now. It has just gone quarter to eight. We are doing the first 6K at five minutes 50-ish per kilometer. And then we will get to the second 6K, which will be at about five minutes 35 per kilometer. And then we should almost bang on time, arrive back to do park run at about four minutes 55 per kilometer. And then like last week, we will have one kilometer extra to do at the end. So we will get our barcode scanned and then finish the final kilometer at that same pace. Best laid plans this morning went slightly awry. We had planned to do our park run and our long run around Watermead Country Park in Leicester today, but that has been cancelled because as is usual when the park gets flooded, it gets cancelled. So we are back at Victoria Park where we were last week, but we're just running up to a village called Oadby. This is one of our regular long run routes, so we just had to remap it slightly. We used the routing function in Strava to work out a 12k route that would take us back to where we started in time for park run. Strava routes works really well for me. It's my preferred route planner. It syncs really well with my watch, which is a Garmin 965. So it takes the thought process out of the route for me. And then I'm using the runner workout to keep me in my pace windows. So on with the show. First 6K done, took us 35 minutes and we were averaging five minutes 47 per kilometer, which is pretty much bang on where we need to be. Getting a bit lighter now. Uh, yeah, second 6K now, which should take us to the start of the park run. We're targeting slightly faster split on this of about 5.35. So let's get on with it. We are into the final 2K of the second leg. So we're about 10K into our morning run. We are cutting it very fine to get to the start of park run. As it turns out, I think we might have uh, started off a minute or two late. So we are currently exceeding the pace that we should be running at slightly in order to try and get to park run for the start. So it doesn't always happen perfectly, but fingers crossed, we still get there. We had to take a bit of a shortcut, but we should make it in time. We've got about 7k of the run left to do. So we'll do part run and then 2k at the end. But yeah, we should just about make it. We made it. So we've got about half a kilometer to do at that five minutes, 35 pace before we go into that higher gear at about 4.55 for final 6K, which will be the whole of the park run. We cut it too fine, but we still made it. Off we go. So we are into the 
the third leg officially now final 6k and we're trying to hit about 455 per kilometer these six kilometers so just seeing how that feels this morning we are on the final straight of the park run portion of the morning we've kept our pace well so we will be about a kilometer and a half short when we finish so we're going to do another lap after we've had our barcode scanned which should neatly bring us to the end of the run thank you well thank you so much morning thank you thanks so much okay so we have got 1.6 k left to do at four minutes and 55 seconds per kilometer pace so the same as what we were doing with parkrun we're going to try and catch parkrun lap it's always better running with people than running on your own try and do one extra parkrun lap not get scanned a second time of course and then we should be done for the morning we are going across some very marshy grass last couple of hundred meters off the long run i think we've nailed what we've needed to nail in terms of the paces which is really pleasing we're just gonna hang our left so we don't cross the finish line twice that park run just gonna collect our bag and we are done we successfully managed to incorporate park run into our marathon training again this time in the long run so we've just done 18 kilometers three sets of six at increasing paces every six kilometers it took us one hour and 36 minutes in total and our average pace across the entire run was five minutes and 19 seconds just now looking at our stats in the runner app to see how we did on our splits so the first 6k we averaged 547 per kilometer which is slightly quicker than we were looking for we were looking for about uh, 555 something like that but that's not too bad the second 6k we averaged five minutes and 19 per kilometer that got a bit quicker because we had to pick up the pace to get to the park run for the start we were aiming for about 535 there so that's not too bad and then we pretty much hit our mark exactly as we needed to in the third 6k we averaged four minutes and 52 per kilometer we were looking for about 455 so that's pretty much bang on so yeah we were ahead in all three which i guess is kind of better than being slower in all three so first 10k today didn't feel too good i think running at those slower paces i don't run with a very efficient cadence i've been struggling with my right leg at the slower paces but as soon as we got into our more kind of normal running gears that we're used to it felt fine park run was a slower pace than we would typically run a park run at but it was nice because we were sticking to a planned pace i don't think i would have really wanted to run it any quicker today after the long run that preceded it if you're enjoying these videos please give them a like maybe subscribe to the channel to keep up with my running adventures and my marathon training and we'll see you next time see ya